The fight against piracy in Nigeria is still going strong. In our next report, Funky Akindele, Sentobi and a few others join the National Film and Video Census Board as they jointly speak against this big problem in the entertainment industry. Family table, this is for the bride. This is wrong. All right, this is, that's better. Oh God. As the economic contributions of the Nigerian creative industry receive more acknowledgement, stakeholders continue to intensify efforts to protect it from nefarious activities that end up shortchanging practitioners. And so it wasn't a red carpet affair as movie celebrities including Funke Akindele, Fred Amata, Sentubi, Eddie Uboma and many others converge on the Lagos office of the National Film and Video Census Board to inspect seized unauthorized works in the market. In five days, the tax force was able to remove the Alaba International Market Film and Video Works not classified and not approved for distribution in Nigeria from the premises not licensed being operated by persons not licensed to carry out the film and video business in Nigeria. The tax force was able to remove films and works with estimated market value of over 50 million Naira. In recent weeks, the board had raided a notorious wing of the popular Alaba market in Lagos, where intellectual property are recreated without proper and due authorization. Copies include some recent big budget cinema flicks, such as The Wedding Party, Jennifer's Diary, Wives on Strike, a trip to Jamaica and many others. Piracy has been eating deep, you know, into our content. We work so hard around the clock. At the end of the day, the products are being pirated. It's sad, you know. We don't even cover the money of production. Um, it's it's crazy. Uh, I see Jennifer's diary out there on the streets. Even the original copies we, 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 we churned out for people to buy, they're not buying them because they're buying pirated copies. So I'm grateful the government is supporting now. We pray they do not relent. We pray they, they push harder to ensure that these people are brought to book. I mean the pirates themselves. According to the newly amended National Film and Video Census Board Act, signed into law by Vice President Yemi Oshimbajo in March 2017, Convicted publishers of unauthorized works are liable to a maximum sentences of up to three years with an option of fine of about 500,000 naira. Filmmakers, however, believe stiffer sanctions are required to serve as deterrent to others. The legislation against pirates is not fair. That is why most people are not discouraged in engaging in the act. But we are also making some moves to ensure that the law against pirates is amended to give them a stiffer penalty. So, but you cannot say because the law has not been amended, you will not take action. By the time you keep on sleeping, they keep on blooming in their business. So the best way is for us to continue with this process while we are also working on the area of getting the law against pirates to be improved upon, to be stronger. And you, the owner of the film, the cinema is taking 60% of the gate again from you. So what are you getting? 10% of your money. In different forms, whether in fact in different packages, 300 naira, a whole 300 naira. <laughs> Some school of thought suggests that hard copy distribution is being phased out and movie makers should concentrate on digital sales. Gabi Okoye, popularly known as Igwe Gaboske, is however of a different opinion and this is why. When we got into Alaba, there are certain warehouses we opened and what we saw there was, I will tell you, hundreds of millions of naira worth of pirated jobs. Nigerian films, Nigerian films. Ask me, how would you take about 10 films and put in one DVD? 
how are you going to share the proceeds to the producers or the owners of the content? Well, that is what we saw, we saw in Alaba. Now, when you look at this thing you see here, it's not up to 0, 0 0.1. 0 0.1, it's not up to 0.1% of what is being, uh, you know, pirated at Alaba. It's just one small listen. But when we have thousands and thousands of warehouses that are stocking and the owners of the country, they, sp they scan the web, they scan the streets, they scan the cinemas. It's not even our... Uh, a, a crime against us alone now is the federal government, is a, is a, is a crime against the economy. So the federal government recently declared tax relief for investors in the creative sector to help speed up growth in the industry. Beyond this, stakeholders believe protecting intellectual property is equally important in making the industry attractive to prospective investors.